But so. he's forming. Well, he's facing the wall. He's gonna have that 90 degree. Right. Like he's I perpendicular to the wall. I understand that. Well, originally so when Emily was here, yeah. uh, Jeff is right so, in the middle. Right. right. But now because you're standing there, Wait, yeah. so he is exactly. not in the middle. We don't care about. Is, he's not in the That's my point. Right. Though, it's really not gonna be. And so the only reason why well, I can see you is this. because we can this find this information every time, we'll here, every time, and then right. we can find this. the same. It's the same. Um, yes. Right. So it's only about the angle. The question is, we, we need don't, to find. The issue. We, we don't, don't know. know. Oh yeah. yeah. If so the he's angle between here, us can be but separated. we know that it's a right triangle. So we know this is something. We can make a right triangle every single time. Right. The question is, what is that going to be, and how does it relate directly to the other person? But what we can measure this. No, we can't. You don't know. We have a place for Miriam. Exactly. You so, don't know where that is. What were you saying? I'm just saying because since you're at different places, right? The, the, you are at different distances from the wall, mm -hmm. but I can see both Emily and Miriam, not because distances, but only because the angle between us can be separated by just both. So we need to change the angle. What we what happens when we change the angle? Is it right? Is that an issue? If we both want to see each other in the mirror, yeah. then our direction or the angle that is formed between the mirror and me should be the same as should be between the mirror the and angle me. between you and the mirror. Right. So the angle, so that's, is that the answer? Is that, are you suggesting that's the answer? Because it well, makes with the, total with sense the help of the, With the help of the uh, string, the yeah. that can hold because you can help us. Prove it. Right. But we do, okay. I just figured something out. So we don't know where the mirror is yet, but we do know the distance between where Correct. the point directly in front of him and the point directly in front of Correct. me. Correct. So we know this. So let's say this is um, X. Okay. We we can at least divide it. Not equally. Not equal. Right. It's not going to be equally. It's equally if I'm here. So. So assume you're be, assume you're even with him. Assume it's an equal right. depth. So we know it's equal. So if it's equal, we know I don't know, equal. do you want to give it a random number? Right. Well, just, yeah, so just assume they're here. We know it's going to be right there at the midway point. We've established this much. Right. Um, when you move back, what is, you move back, <coughs> so that's, back does that change hmm. I don't I don't know how to do this because it's, it's, the other thing is it? because it's not static it, it this person is affected also so he can't we can't just say well it's gonna stay there no it's not exactly so I don't know how to put this proportion together I don't know how to do what is remaining proportional when you step back? So too much, too many letters. Okay, we're gonna try this one more time. Go ahead. Screen. Yes. Right. For example, uh, if here and you, well, you stay where you are, and I be standing here, mm -hmm. and the only thing we need to figure out is uh, with the help of the screen, if Jeff, you can figure out, um, so Jeff, what if here and was moving this way, that right? Way. This way, Diagonal. so that she will be standing maybe here at Got the it. spot. And if you can also figure out the middle spot between between this hypothetical point, this hypothetical point, and me here, I'm supposed to see anyone who's standing at the point. Here's my only. And also here and here's my only issue. How do we decide? How do we decide? So I understand what you're saying about walking it up and finding right. the spot there, the spot but here. how do I decide where to put this? Like, how do I decide which line to walk her up towards? Does that make sense? Like, right. Do, right. Do right. You have to. How would we know that to start? We could um, have somebody else stand next to him and figure out. Can, we, can we do that? Sure. Yeah. Can we have like more people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 
So like you guys are standing here, we can't figure it out. So I stand right next to him and directly in front of her, and you run the string and you find the midpoint between the two of us. Okay. So once we've got that, let's assume let's assume and it's here. And then you follow that angle. Well, but let's really do it, right? If we're if he and I are standing here, let's really okay. place the spot on the floor. So where would you want the string to go? Um, to directly in between us. It's okay. hard for me to tell because I'm standing. Okay. Can I'm you not see each other? Of the, I can yeah. see. That's about the midpoint. You guys, you guys yeah. see each other? So somebody right, standing between us could figure thing, out that was the midpoint. I can see Abby now, but I can't see Kieran. I think the only thing is because you should, well, there should be a line between the Mira and Ebony and Kieran. This should be in okay. a line. Okay. But now the mirror, it's you and the Mira, they're in a line. So once we've established like that, mm -hmm. that this, I mean, so this angle works now it has to change to accommodate exactly. where she is, right? Yeah. Or so just the other person has to change. This angle can be fixed. But they, we can't move people, can we? Finally, we can't move people, right? Right. Fi right. Finally, you can, can play with that as much as mm -hmm. you want to. So but then now I want to see Kieran. Then Kieran has to move, has to, move to a spot where but Karen's there should be a line. But I can't. But Karen's move. not moving. She can't move. So the question is. You have to move the mirror. I have to move. Have yeah, to this throw. angle moves. I just wonder if it would be easier to figure out how the string moves physically in real life than for us to keep. Or maybe not. Maybe it is easier to manipulate. Just mathematically. So just so you guys know, uh, it's right about 5 o'clock. So. It looks like you're you're coming up with some really awesome awesome ideas. And is this possible? <laughs> Absolutely. I, I think oh, it is. I know it is. That's what's so <laughs> exciting. But you it's guys it, you guys are actually you, you you from your beginning to where you're at now, the questions you're asking seem like you're getting much much closer to the idea. How so are it's it's, it's, it's <laughs> <laughs> we can, How long did it take? Your class. So the the four of us with one other uh, student worked for about an hour and a half or so, and we got to a point that we can share with you. Uh, the other groups, I would say that some of the other groups got close to where you guys got in an hour and a half. Some of them didn't get maybe that far, uh, and I think part of that was the, the interpretation of the question. Some groups were very fixated on like bisecting an angle and and doing that kind of thing. Uh, if you if you are interested in exploring this outside of class, feel free. But if you would like, we can explain to you what what our group came up with. I don't. I'm gonna. I can't. <laughs> I can't stay. Thing. It'll take 20 <laughs> seconds. Oh no! I would love to hear how you guys uh, did it. I was. No. I thought you were saying no, no, if you no, want to no. stay, like, figure it out. No, no, no. I don't want to. I don't want to ruin it. If it's something uh, you want to explore outside of class. No, I need to know. But if you want, we can give you <laughs> yes what I'm we came up with. Okay. Thank you. Cool. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Please do. Have fun at dinner. And if you guys have any, you know, like, last things that you want to try or test out. Awesome. Thanks for coming. Okay. Let's just give me one quick second. Just another. I don't think that if you want. And we're all friends, so we can tell you next week. If you'd rather wait and no, I don't want to wait. So this will consume my week. No, you've, so done, you've actually done a, a hell of a good job. If you were in the class, we would say good. It should consume your week, yeah. but okay. luckily you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks a lot. I'm gonna uh, recruit the system for AI. Oh yeah. <laughs> Got a lot done. Bye. Awesome. Thank you. Bye. Can we use like two screens? Yeah. 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 Oh, I think yeah. we used four or five when we yeah. touched. I should want to use my hand once more. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what we want. <laughs> but that That's the opposite yeah. of success. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Yeah. Can you explain that a little bit? <laughs> tell, tell me more. Yeah. Could you describe that idea as wonderful? Mm -hmm. yeah, Explain well, at least there was some good stuff and some bad stuff. Right. Turns out it's sushi. No, I'm just thinking. <laughs> <laughs> some limitations to this experience. <laughs> that was the last year they did a mirror school for D440. Let me. Yeah. 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 
I see so something one right. about the angle shrinking to your Oh, okay. So so you just need to experiment. Yeah. yeah. So just need to just try it out. I need to know. This is more. Just a second. Just a second. Yes. <laughs> How would knowing if this two screens are forming that angle? But, but, but here's the thing: we don't know what the angle is going to be because we don't know where to put the mirror. That's what we'd be trying to decide. We we the angle here can't be established without knowing where the mirror goes, and that is the right, thing. You would move this two screens to this way, would it still be like a ninety degree? Ninety no. The angle is going to shrink right? the right, closer. Exactly. I'm just trying to say there's a point where the two shrinks might be an angle that is blocked for Oh. Only, it, only where you two are standing because on the same this line. Way, we're that is your 90 degree. That right. works. But if this person moves further away, for example, here, of what the, our NOS experiment, I can also I can still see the person. Exactly, you still got your 90 degree angle. angle. Correct. Right. So now we're just testing this. If this, these two strings are forming a 90 degree angle, we'll be able to respond to the But it's here. Move it. How about this? If I just move it <coughs> this way instead, right. and so now you're here. It's still a 90 degree angle. Well, not, that won't be like a 90 degree angle. No, it would, oh, would still, it be, would still be. So what if I did it? No. this way. Be like, just imagine it being like this. If you were right next to each other, that is certainly not a ninety degree angle. So I don't know how to do it. Please tell me. I'm. I'm I got it now. I'm going. Okay. Uh, so I can. Yeah, yeah, I'm good, I'm good, fine. So I'll, I'll do a drawing first, and then we can demonstrate with the string. So this is what we came up with. You guys probably were potentially on the way to some, Maybe. like, an equally valid solution. Uh, so if this is the wall, and you've got a person here and here, we're going to think about this point and this point, which is something that you guys sort of established. We came up with uh, the idea of looking at this diagonal. Okay.